attack turned deadly on Saturday when nine-year-old Tiana Ward crashed through a third-floor porch railing. Tonight, her argument says racism on the part of the Chicago Building Department is to blame. NBC 5's Phil Rogers with his story. Phil? You see that this case is starting to look all too familiar. Question of who do you want and when. This evening, the building's owner is blaming the tenant, even the little girl who died. The alderman is accusing the city building department of racism. And she says Commissioner Stan Kitterbeck should resign. Whoever the inspector is, if he came to the north side, I'm sure that he would have seen the problems that was here on the south side. Residents take a different tack. They insist the building's owners knew the porch was dangerous. You felt it was a bad shape? Yes. How long ago? It's been so long. It's been so long. Tenant Rosie Downs, who occupies the apartment where the child fell, says she quit paying rent three months ago because of unsafe conditions in her apartment, including the porch railing, which was so dangerous, she took these photos just last Thursday. You were concerned about that room? Not all the time. This man is building owner Alex Bigba, although at first he denied it when we saw him in the alley. But after tenants identified him, Bigba insisted he had no knowledge the railing was dangerous. I've never seen any complaints in regards to the porches about the residents ever. He's the liar. I made complaints about this. I gave it to his managers of the building. Indeed, this woman, the daughter of the on-site manager, says her mother had repeatedly passed along Ms. Downs' complaints. Well, she wrote it down on the paper. The woman gets him out of the papers, out of the paper. How long? Well, I'm only been going for about three months now. To my knowledge, the porch was in perfect condition. Kids should not be playing a porch, you say. That was Brenda's first contention. Then he blamed the tenants. If they knew that that railing is bad, how did they allow kids to go up there? Why? But he also blamed city inspectors. The building was, the porches were built in 2003. It was inspected two times. There was no problems with the porches. Indeed, after the porch was built, it was approved by a city building inspector. Today, looking at the porch's condition, Alderman Coleman asked how that could be. Whatever and whoever inspector came to inspect this building, I hope that they can sleep at night, knowing that a nine-year-old is gone because they didn't do their job. You fear someone dropped the ball in the building department. Oh, it's, it's apparent. The city took the owners to court in January of last year, arguing that there were numerous violations leaving the building unsafe. Alec Bukba says he signed and honored an agreement with the city to fix many of those violations. This thing is a total mess right now, because the real question is how a porch like that could have been approved by a city inspector. We've been asking that question all day at the city building department with very few answers. This does not come in good time for Commissioner Stan Kitterbeck, who had his own problems last week with that condo development on the west side, and uh, we understand things are kind of ugly today at City Hall. There should be some sort of paper trail, I imagine. There is a paper trail, absolutely. This this uh, thing was built with a permit, but the uh, the residents of that building have been complaining for months about that porch. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.